everybody. I'm here with a good friend of ours, Greg Wells. If you've followed Antelope at all over the last few years, you've probably seen from time to time, Greg has weighed in on clocking and converters for us and talked about different, you know, talked about our story a little bit. But just to uh, recap a little bit where we where we came from over the years, you started with clocks and you went to interfaces and we kept doing shootouts and you kept picking Antelope over and over and over. Um, maybe if you recap some of the highlights. But you know, I don't want to tell the same story we told at AES. So maybe if you could talk a little bit about what it's meant to you musically as a musician, as a creator, as a producer to use Antelope, because we know about the shootout, so we know what you've heard with it. But it, can you talk maybe a bit about the impact of, of your work and why you keep coming back and looking, hey, what are you guys making now? Because I, I, I think that interest is really cool and I really appreciate it. Uh, my favorite qualities in gear are where the music, uh, there's, there's the most music possible coming through the speakers. And I know that's a really obtuse thing to say, but I'm a musician, I play a bunch of different instruments, and I'm always trying to suck, pull as much music out of the system, whatever I'm working on, as possible. And uh, especially now that I've lived for a while with the 10MX clock. So the pleasure for me, selfishly, the pleasure of being able to work on that system uh, through my, you got some PMC speakers here, and through my PMC speakers, which I know really well, through my console, which I know really well, um, it frames it in a way, but it's a bit like looking at, in an art book, like a, like a really good print copy of the original thing, and then you kind of go to the Louvre or wherever, and you see the original thing, and it's a bit bigger than you thought, and the colors are actually different than you thought, and the detail and the depth is different. It's, it's very much like, like that for me. But um, you had a kind of a reaction when the first time you saw the 32 HD and the way that it can work together side by side. If any of you don't know, for the first time, you know, that I'm aware of, in such a convenient manner, you can open up Pro Tools HD, you can open up a native program, you connect over a digi port. In this case, I'm using the native box with Thunderbolt, but you can connect direct to a Pro Tools HD system, then open up Logic and assign it to USB 3. Both of those can work simultaneously together in the Orion. 32 HD and then be routable within our routing matrix live. You can sync the two together with mini time code. You can run them together. You can fly tracks from one to the other. Uh, coined a new term called DAW inserts because if you're working in Logic and you want to send something on an, on an HD plugin, you can create that within our routing architecture and you then you can access in either one of these DAWs our, our plugin. So you kind of had a strong reaction for the ways you might use that with some of your uh, artists and, and people that you work with? Yes, I did. I mean, I'm like, I constantly work with, I mean, the entire 21 Pilots album, Vessel, that I produced and mixed was, I mean, we so could have used this because um, they would come in with, with their demos done in Logic, and we would always start there. And sometimes I kept some of the stuff from the demos, and sometimes I would use the MIDI tracks to trigger other stuff, but it, we, and I think there's a vocal I even kept from his Logic demo, and so to be able to and it was so, such a cumbersome process, like, you know, the bats make stems, put it on the USB stick, whatever, to air, you know, airdrop, whatever it worked. This is ridiculous, where you can, Marcel was showing me, you can run Pro Tools, you just said it, but you can run Pro Tools and Logic, or other DAWs, I guess, live and anything, synced up live, uh, simultaneously. You know, we can be in the middle of a Pro Tools session, and correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, Without even switching to Logic, I can, if they're synced up, I can, just, I can monitor the output of Logic yes. in the Pro Tools session. Yes. You know, I'll, I'll have what you're having. <laughs> And, and we're kind of doing that right now in the background. We have them sync together, but it'd be very easy to uh, record enable a couple channels and monitor those from Pro Tools and then take any of these outputs, either a summed output from Logic or from our mixer, uh, add some reverb to a vocal or whatever, come on in. Um, print with and without our effects, if you will, all of that routing capability. What's also very important about all this is this isn't a 32-channel interface. In Pro Tools or Logic natively or through MADI, it's a 64-channel interface. So you have your 32 channels of I.O., but then you have these extra channels that you could do all this routing with simultaneously. Digitally. Not analog, not analog, right. So there's another 32 channels. So I can take uh, from some effects, or I can route to a mixer, or I put a reverb on a bus, or what have you. So this is some of the capability you'd have. I mean, for me, you know, I can get very techy and very sort of cerebral and neck up, but 
the thing that excites me most, the thing that excites me most about this gear, and this is what I started saying, is the musicality of it. Like it's it's amazing what everything you're saying. I'm all kind of bubbly and excited about because I I I've been in Pro Tools for years and I'm too old to really make a switch at this point. Even though I just bought Ableton yesterday, I'm like I'm gonna learn this, but we'll see if that happens. Um, but I'm constantly working with younger artists who are bringing stuff in on their laptops and to be able to interface like this. But it's the way this it's the way the shit sounds. It's the sound of it that is like the best thing. And of course. The only way for anyone to hear it is to hear it, and especially what you did with me, which harkens back to the, you know my, my stories from AES, is to compare with what you are working on now to what you could be working on, and and that's how you really know. And um, I'm here because I'm enthusiastic about the gear, you know, and it ha it's such a help for me. And um, you're helping me, I'm helping you. Like I'm. I'm not on the payroll here. It's like, I don't know what's going on, but just keep, please, you guys, keep making stuff uh, that makes my life easier. I, um, I mean, we could talk about, you know, seven tech award nominations and all this stuff, but we do it for the users. We do it for you guys. It's that we love what we're doing. We love these stories and we feed on this. I mean, Igor, what do people, he, he'll message me. He's out in Asia right now and doing some other meetings. And, but he'll like message me during the day and how are people responding? What do they like? What are they into? What would they like? What else would they like? You know, I would say 90, 95% of our key features the past couple of years came from you guys. It came from users. It came from you. And, um, and you know, that's this is why we do it, just to hear things like that. It, it never gets old. I love it. But really, this is sincerely why we do it. And this is why we found our little space in the market that's, that seems to be growing, thankfully. And, you know, I'll say one more thing, um, you know, with, our, with these effects and this routing capability. But... You know, all of our interfaces have this capability, all of our new Thunderbolts. So we have four different products with the Goliath, the Orion Studio, the 32 Plus, the Zen Studio, the Zen Tour, all of these interfaces. So if Greg were working on, on a project and he said, you know, I have a stack here that I created for a vocal and you, you know, it sounds really good on your voice. I'm gonna send you this preset stack and you can use it on your Zen Tour that you just got. I mean, this is, yeah. You, That's amazing. That's amazing. It's just, there's been such a lack of that kind of thinking, I feel, with uh, trying to make music and computers. It's like, no, this is my thing, and you can't, you know, the, the sharing, it's like, this is why I talk a lot of, and, and do interviews, and there's a lot of people that I, are my, my peers and my competitors who don't. They're very private, they don't share details. I don't see any downside to doing that, you know, and then when you do collaborate, and as you just said, you get feedback from the music creators, and you're one too. Marcel's a mastering engineer, I mean, I know you've got other appointments, and I really appreciate you coming by and offering it again to come by. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Wells, 